Hello, I'm Peter Gordon, and although I'm a chef in restaurants, I'm here at home, and I want to show you how to cook a really lovely lamb stir-fry. And I'm going to use New Zealand lamb, I'm going to cook it with lots of veggies, so it's great for the kids, and actually, if you get them involved in cooking it, they'll probably eat their veggies a lot more. So what you want to start off with is some garlic, ginger, and chilli, and just enough that the kids are going to sort of want to eat it without being too spicy. Peel yourself a couple of cloves of garlic, and peel some ginger, Okay, then you just want to grate these in with your chilli. And if you've got any big lumps left, like these, just plonk them in as well. Then you want to get your lamb ready. So what I've got here is some beautiful New Zealand lamb leg steaks. You could use lamb neck fillet, you could use loin, you could use anything without the bone really. So slice it about half an inch thick, thinner and it can cook too quickly. A little bit thicker and it'll take a while to cook through. And just put all of this in with your garlic, ginger and chilli. And just add a bit of oil. Toss it all together. And let it marinate for about 20 minutes maximum. Uh, but definitely a few minutes. The longer you leave it, the more the garlic, ginger and chilli is going to go into that lovely lamb. So while the meat's marinating, you want to get your vegetables ready. And what is lovely in a stir fry is to have lots of different colours. Which makes it look good, makes it taste good and texturally it's really helpful as well. So part of the dish is going to be some spring onions, so just slice these up into pieces, about, again about half an inch long. Just put these to one side. Then I've got these beautiful long red peppers, just cut the end off. Cut it lengthways. If there are any seeds in there, just take those out. Slice them into strips. You want a couple of carrots, so just peel those and just take the ends off, top and tail, and then slice these quite thinly, about a quarter of an inch max. And if you keep them separate in the bowl, they cook at slightly different times, and when I show you how to cook this, it'll make a bit of sense. And I've got some lovely tender stem broccoli, just cut that into little pieces, almost an inch long. If it's a fatter stalk, then cut it on a bit of an angle, like this size here, and you'll find that it just makes it a bit more tender when it's cooking. One of the other things you need is a bit of soy sauce. What you want to do is just add a little bit of water to that as well. And it's what I call wok water. And you'll find when you're cooking something in a wok, it's incredibly hot and quite dry. So you add a little bit of moisture and it helps steam the veggies. So now it's time to cook the lamb. The key to wok frying is that you've got to have an incredibly hot wok. And um, this, what you see here, I've got a flat bottom one. You can get round bottom or flat bottom. But this works really well on a domestic stove like this. So now just take the New Zealand lamb that's been marinated and put it into the wok. Throw it all in in one big lump. And then what you want to do is just spread it out in one layer because you're going to cook it on both sides. So just leave it there for 20 seconds. And it's not going to be easy to turn it over exactly, uh, but just turn it as best you can. You want it browned on both sides. Now that's ready, just tip it into a heat proof bowl because you don't want to put it in something that's going to melt. Just scrape it in there. And then any of the little bits that are stuck to the wok, just give it a good scrape. If you've got a Teflon wok, which some of you will have, don't use metal scrapers because you're going to destroy it. So just be careful what you're actually cooking it in. Once it's come back to heat, which it is now, add a little bit more oil. It's time to do the vegetables. So first of all, the carrots, because they take longer to cook. Then the pepper. And then the broccoli. And just level it out and leave that for about 20 seconds. So you're trying to color the carrots Soften the peppers. Now you can add the lamb back to the wok. So tip it in and there'll be all the juices that have come out of that as well. Just tip it all back in. Add the soy sauce and water, then the spring onions, the peas, and then the cashew nuts. You might want to use peanuts or almonds or have no nuts whatsoever. And just give that a good stir. Cook it until a lot of the liquid is evaporated. You want a little bit of sauce, but not too much. So there you go, really simple stir fry of New Zealand lamb, cashew nuts and loads of veggies, and it's a great meal for the kids and the family. Mm -hmm.